So, let's take a look at this one. Now, Why not? Why not? Okay, let's say we have something silly like this. Let's put the hydrogens in because some of you do care about these hydrogen. Okay, so if somebody were to ask you, hey, name this, what would you do? Okay, well, the rule again find the longest carbon carbon chain now because it's an alkene this longest carbon carbon chain better involve double bonding okay even though if you see a longer chain without the double bond that doesn't count it does have to include the double bond thankfully it does right there now you want to make sure that the double bond inherit the lowest number left to right or right to left well it's pretty simple of course it's left to right because you'll hit double bond at number two you see which means these guys are all side groups so their side group doesn't matter who takes priority it all matters of how you would alphabetically arrange them okay so in this case i can see that at number three position there is a bromo okay at number two four six position there's three methyl at number six position, there is a cyclopropyl. Just to refresh your memory, when it comes to cyclo cyclic molecule, it's not the C that counts, it's the number of carbon that counts for alphabetical comparison. All right, let's finish the name with this by naming the alkene. This will be a 2 non -e. Okay, so the two is indicating that the double bond is in the number two, three carbon position. Okay, like hopefully you guys are comfortable with that. So if you know how to name alkene, naming alkene is just a little extra step. That's not gonna bother you, is it? Of course not, but this will. Check this one out. How are you going to name that? Now, do you see the problem here? Yes. The problem is there's two double bond. Now, that's, that's a scenario I have never seen before. No worries. Idea, same thing. Make sure you find your longest carbon-carbon chain that has double bond, that involves double bond. There. Nothing tricky about this. Number these carbon. Making sure double bond hit the lower number. Okay. This will do that because double bond hit number one. If you go the other way around, double bond won't hit until number two. This way is obviously much, much better. Okay. All right. You can name this. You can start naming. Name those side groups in alphabetical order. Okay. I see a 4 chloro. I see a 3 cyclohexyl. Oh god. I see 2 double bond. I usually only see 1. 
Well, this is what you're going to do. You're going to indicate where those double bond are. are. So you know that there's double bond at carbon number one. There's a double bond at carbon number three. Right? And this is a five carbon molecule, which we will say pent. Now, there's a lot of way of people of, of doing this. People can, I've seen people say pent a diene. Okay? They, they pretty much say penta. And then di, which represents two, because there's two double bond. In, of course, represents C double bond C. Okay? So, now, some people do this. Some not people with textbook do this. And next next week we'll have to we, we will have to do this. They said pent one three dying. Some textbook do that. Okay. For me, I don't really care which way you do. All I want is that I want to see one three, I want to see pent, I want to see die, I want to see e. You can put the one three in here and take away this a. No, put a whole bunch of dash in between. That's fine with me because this is legitimate. A lot of textbook uses this method. Okay, a lot of Canadian textbook like to use this method. It doesn't matter. You guys choose whatever you're comfortable with. But I got to tell you right now that this method you will have to use later when we look at triple bond. Not to scare you, not want to scare you yet, but you know, that's something we're going to have to do. All right, let's do two more and then we'll call it it for the day. Let's clear this page. Let's name this guy. One more. Hmm. I haven't seen this guy for a while, right? Okay. Let's leave it at that. All right, this is what I want you to do. Uh, figure it out on your own. Pause right now. Come back to it when you're done. Okay, so pause now. All right, so now that you had a chance to do this, let me just take it up. My longest chain has to be this even though there's a there you can see that there's a longer carbon carbon chain but remember it has to involve double bond and this is it the numbering is pretty obvious in this case i hope i don't miss any numbers because i did that before last time and you guys caught me on it i made lots of mistakes you guys know i'm not perfect all right so 
side group, side group, side group, side group, side group. Okay. So let's name this. Okay. Alphabetically. So it looks like I have at carbon number four, I have a butyl. All right? At carbon number eight, I have a chloro. At carbon number seven, I have a cyclohexyl. At carbon number five, I have a methyl. At carbon number four, I have a nitro. Okay, that's all the side group. Now, the main chain. So it looks like I have two double bonds. Position number one and position number six. Okay. It's a nine carbon chain long, so it's a na na. There's two double bonds, so na na dying. Hopefully, I didn't make any mistakes. Now, there's an interesting question that students always ask me. They ask me, okay, if this is the longest chain, what if, what if something like this comes about? You know, there's a chlorine there. What would I do? Because obviously, this is not just a butyl. Right? Well... You will learn this later on in university. It's called the bracket system. I'm just going to show you this one time. Okay. How I would name this and how um, this would be quite complicated. So the idea is right here. Okay. Everything else would stay the same thing. But the four butyl, well, there's going to be a little bit more work because is really not just a butyl, is it? Okay, you would have to write four. So at the number four position, you would do an open bracket. Okay, now this is going to be a butyl, no doubt. But there is subgroup in this subgroup, so there has to be a separate numbering system, and that numbering system stem from the main chain, meaning that this is going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, it has to stem from the main chain. So under the bracket, you will have 3 chloro. Close this bracket. This is all in the confine of a butyl. Then you continue. They call it the bracket system, they say, whatever. But as I said, this is not something that you will see in high school, at least in second year university where they're going to show you this mess. And oh my goodness, it gets very, very messy. But you'll worry about that when you get there. Anyway, I have one more examples for you. And then uh, I'm going to call it quit for the day. So one more guys, hang in there. Okay, this should be torturing enough. Okay, so again, pause. See if you guys can figure this one out. Pause now. All right, we're back. Did you figure it out? I hope we figure this out. Okay. 
Hope you numbered it this way. So these are side group, huh? So before five dichloro. I think I almost psyched myself out thinking that this is a six. Six seven dimethyl. Now look at the alkene. There's actually three alkene position that position. Three, four. Five. Okay, so at position three, two, three, five, sorry, two, three, five, it will be a decatriene. All right. Okay, so there's really nothing more than that. If you can name these things, you're very, you're good with naming alkenes. No matter how much alkene people are trying to throw at you, you should be able to name this using this method. So hopefully you're comfortable with organic chemistry. Okay, some people may think, oh, inorganic chemistry was much more easier. But some people may think that, no, no, organic chemistry is easier. It depends on how comfortable you are and how much you get it. So if you're totally lost at this point, you should go back and look at my previous videos. You know, have a chat with me. Make sure you're 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 with us at all time. All right. So the next functional group that we're gonna look at is called alkyne, which is triple bond, carbon carbon triple bond. Now, how is that gonna play a role? All right, let's call it it for the day. Bye now.